Hey babes! Guess what today is? Motivational Monday. The very best day of the week, if you're asking me. So, oh my God, oh Lord. I ran into someone this past weekend that, um... shared a really devastating story with me and um, she totally felt like the victim. Um, I let her talk to me um, and then afterwards I, I just really I really just had a heart to heart with her and she just looked at me and she said but then how would you know like you just have this perfect life and you have this perfect husband and this perfect house and your whole thing, everything is so perfect. And I just looked at her and I said, honey, we all have a past and we all have struggles. Like you may not see my struggles right now, but even I have struggles. She's like, oh my God, you don't have any problems. And I'm like, you wouldn't believe, like everyone in this world has problems. No one is immune to it, no one. And so she really got me to talk and, and I really talked about myself and everything, but she had no clue that I myself had come from abuse. Um, you know, and whether my parents ever wanted to believe that they were in any way, shape or form, emotionally or physically, or mentally abusive to us, they can think what they want, they can believe what they want, you know? But um, if, if, if today, what would have happened to me back then happened today, I'm pretty sure it's called child abuse and I'm pretty sure DPS would have been contacted and I'm pretty sure steps would have been taken. But once again, the past is the past, you know? But I myself endured physically abused, being physically abused, uh, mentally abused, emotionally abused. Uh, I was sexually abused by my grandfather, um, which my parents never wanted to believe. Um, they always thought we were lying about it. Um, but what's really funny is now, to this day, now that I'm an adult and, and all of these years have passed, I've got cousins that have literally come forward now and said, oh my God, yes, grandpa molested us too. And I'm like, wow, wow. I mean, like, I didn't even know that when I was younger. I never knew my cousins were being sexually molested by our grandfather too. But as an adult and, and, and at the age that I am now, my cousins are coming forward saying, yeah, we were sexually abused too. And, and, and it just blows you away. It just blows you away to know as an adult now, the stuff that all of us lived through and, and there's people living through it now. There's, there's kids that are going through it now. Um, but, you know, we, we grow up to be adults that don't let our past hinder our future. Um, you know, I never, ever, ever thought to become a victim. It never crossed my mind. I was like, okay, this happened to me, but it's not going to define who I am, and I'm not going to let it define my future, you know. Um, I can honestly say I definitely made sure that I never grew up treating my children the way I was treated as a child. Um, I made sure of that. Um, my children knew what love was and they knew that I probably overly loved them. <laughs> but um, but she was blown away when my, when my friend, uh, when, when she sat there and listened to my story. She was just like, wow, like just looking at you now, I would have never thought that. And I said, because you, you have to remember, instead of being the victim, you need to come out and be the victor. You need to, I don't, and I don't care if it's counseling you've got to go to. I, I mean, I don't care what it is. You've got to be able to pull yourself up from with your bootstraps and say, I'm going, I'm not going to let this define who I am. I'm going to be bigger and better than this. And you know, you, you see all these 
kids that come out of these poverty-stricken areas and they go on to get bas uh, you know, football. Well, here we go. We, we just watched the draft the other night, the NFL draft. You know, and you've got some of these kids that, that were raised by just one parent and they were poverty stricken and 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 now they're they're being picked up in the NFL draft and their whole world is changing. But they, they never let what happened to them or the circumstances or their surroundings as a child define who they were going to become. And now you've got these great NFL players that are being drafted um, and, and being signed with these astronomical contracts and their whole lives are forever changed. But you know what? Their lives were forever changed when they, as a small child or a teenager, decided, I'm, I'm better than this, I'm more than this, and I'm not gonna let it destroy me. I'm not gonna let it, you know, I can either become a victim and woes me and it's never gonna get any better than this, or I can rise above it and I can reach out and get the help that I'm going to need to be able to rise above it and to become something. You know, I just, I saw a phrase just popped up on my phone just a little while ago. This phrase says, the road to success is paved not by what you get from others, but by what you give. That is so, so true. So true. And I think that's why I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy doing these Motivational Mondays and my Wealthy Wednesdays and everything because, you know, yeah, maybe years ago I became famous as a bodybuilder and then I became famous uh, as Mrs. Texas and, and then maybe I became famous because of the closet. Um, but you know what? It's, it's not what all of those have been given, you know, it's not what those give me, it's what I'm able to give is what brings me the success because I always, always, always want to help other people. From the time I was little to being a personal trainer to owning health clubs, all I've ever wanted to do was help people, help people, help people. And people have always said to me, so why do you have a YouTube channel, Teresa? And I'm like, my sole purpose of having a YouTube channel, honest to God, in my head, is to be able to help people. Help people like you guys. Yeah, you might see some luxury thrown in there once in a while. You might see some fashion, you might see that because it's all part of my world. But what brings me the most happiness is when I can be one-on-one -on -one with you guys right here and share a little bit of insights and a little bit of knowledge. And then I get those emails or those text messages or those DMs. And, and it's somebody that tells me how much I helped change their life. Just like when I was a personal trainer. I'm like, oh my God, yes, yes, yes. They're listening, they're listening, they're listening to me, yes. And you know what, guys? I may not always be right. You may look at me and go, Psh, what the hell does she know? You're, you're allowed your opinion. Just like you're allowed to have your own YouTube channel and do what you want to do on your own YouTube channel. But... I feel in my heart that I was meant to have a YouTube channel to be able to have a larger platform to be able to reach more people to try to help change or better more people than I can do sitting in a room one-on-one -on -one with someone. That's why I have YouTube. That's why I have my coaching calls. That's why I have the things that I have to offer because I thoroughly enjoy helping people. And if I can just help one person know that I too came from a past, I too had things in my past happen to me that I wished I would have never had to live through, but I did. But I think it all made me a stronger person. That's how I have to look at it. I have to look at it like, you know what? It made me a stronger person. It made me a better person. I don't wish that upon anybody. I don't, want, I, I don't wish to go back and live it again but I do feel that it made me a stronger person and it helped me become who I am. And that's how I have to look at it to be able to move past it. And the reason I like to talk about it is because to me, it's like therapy. It's like, if I can talk to you about it and share with you what has happened to me and, and for you to be able to say, wow, she's just like me. Like she, she went through this crap too. If she can make it through it, I can make it through it. Mm-hmm.
Yeah. I'm relatable. I really am. I mean, I don't care. I don't care what size house I live in. I could go back and live in a 500 square foot apartment and be just as happy. Because a house is just a material thing. Like it, it's, you know, you, you can't, you can't take it with you. You know, um, we're all going to die sooner or later. We're all going to die. So I, I, I would be just as happy living in a 500 square foot apartment and, and driving a little Honda Civic and just being happy. I mean, that's what's truly what happiness is, is just having your freedom, having the ability to have the choices to to be happy. So anyways, guys, um, I just wanted to get on here and, and share with you, you know, that happened with me this weekend and it was, it was so touching to be able to get to share my story with this person and for her to understand that she's not alone and she knows that I too have been through what she's been through and if that, if that just helps her for one little minute feel like she's not alone, then, then I've achieved what I've wanted to achieve. So anyways, guys, I just, I wanted to get on here and motivate you guys to live your best life. Don't let your past define your future. You too can be whatever the hell you want to be. All you have to do is set your mind to it. Stay focused, go after it. Right now, I've got some amazing things happening that I have literally had my mind set on for the last eight years. And by the grace of God, because I continue to stay focused and I continue to stay working hard towards that goal, um, amazing things are happening right now. So through this pandemic, things are still able to have happen. I mean, like, like, even though we've had to social distance, even though we've had to stay home, even though we've had to abide by the rules, I, behind the scenes, have still continued to work and, and by the grace of God, um, get to share some happy news with you later this year. Yes. So guys, with that said, get out there, live your best life. Uh, get, sign up for coaching calls. If you want a coaching call with me, I offer them on my website. Just get over to TeresaRomer.com and sign up for a, a coaching call with me. Uh, we, we can talk about anything from grief to life experiences to, you know, if you feel like you're stuck in your business, uh, whatever, whatever. Um, I've been through plenty of grief in my life. I've, I've been through plenty of horrible things in my life. I've been through a lot of amazing business things in my life. So whatever, whatever you need a coaching call about, I'm available. Just get over to my website and sign up for one. So with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a fabulous day. We love Mondays. They're always so motivating. They're always so fun to wake up to. So with that said, guys, get out there, live your best life. And until next time, bye-bye.